Hello, my name is Ashley. I am an initiated priestess and a witch. I started my spiritual journey a long time ago when I was 14 years old, I'm 30 now, and I stepped into the world of magic by learning about tarot cards. So what are tarot cards? Tarot cards are a tool that help you reflect on the energies in your life and what's happening to you internally. I think a lot of people think witchcraft is fortune telling and spooky, scary, evil stuff. That's not it at all. What witchcraft is, is using the four elements, fire, air, earth, and water, and conjuring those to create new energy to change things in your life. So if you have a situation where maybe you're not getting along with your boss, you would create a jar to help sweeten up this situation. Or let's say that you are a little bit low on rent. You could make a money jar to help bring the energy of money to you. Now, there are different aspects of witchcraft. It's actually so vast. Witchcraft is really an umbrella term. And it includes a lot of different practices. So just for a few different names, we can talk about Thelema, we can talk about Wicca, and of course, we have Eastern practices too, like Taoism and Hinduism. Now, do you have to believe in other gods to be a witch? No. If you choose to work with or worship other gods, that's a personal choice. Witchcraft gives you the freedom to believe in the world around you as you see it. And that's what I love so much about it. Witchcraft has helped me empower myself. It's helped me get through the toughest times in my life. When I broke up with my fiance in 2019, I used witchcraft to help heal my heart and heal my mind so I would not feel so broken. Witchcraft can also help you achieve goals in life. If you wanted to do a candle spell to bring in new jobs, that's totally an option. Of course, during this time, you would use elements and the herbs, crystals, all these things put together to create a ritual or a spell. So it's kind of like cooking in that way. So I make a recipe of all of the different energies that I want to use to bring my intention to fruition. And then I add them all together and I meditate with it. Witchcraft includes a lot of mindfulness. Mindfulness is a really big buzzword in the psychological community, but it's also esoteric, magical. Mindfulness is your superpower. When you are able to step away and process those emotions and give yourself the space to respond instead of react, your entire life will change. Magic has influenced me in so many ways. And in fact, for a long time, I was in the broom closet. I was so scared of telling people about what I did because I thought they would think I was evil or a bad person. And that's not the case at all. Magic brings you strength. Magic brings you confidence and gives you a better connection to the world and the universe at large. Now, of course, there are people who do not so ethical things with magic. That is not what I do, and that's your own choice. We call these the left-hand path and the right-hand path. The right-hand path is healing. There's a lot of light and a lot of love, whereas the left-hand path is what we consider to be a little bit darker. Now, it's very important to understand that darker does not mean evil. These are the parts of ourselves, our shadow self, that are hard to look at. The things that we've rejected or society has rejected in us. And learning to overcome those societal expectations and boxes that we're placed in to bring us empowerment and learn to love those things about ourselves. I work with both the left-hand path and the right-hand path. In magic, we call that working with both hands. The other thing about witchcraft is, like I said before, a lot of people think it's about fortune telling. Magic can help you change the future to your will, but it does not predict the future. You predict the future. Anyone can practice magic. 
It is your divine birthright to harness the powers that live with inside of you to make changes in your life or build your own reality. And that is what makes magic so wonderful for people of all genders, all races. Magic is not just for women. Witchcraft is not just for women. It's for everyone. But I think that women in particular have found this unique aspect of life to help us break free from the patriarchy, from the societal norms, and be who we really are, which are fierce, vivacious, sexual creatures. If you're interested in learning more about magic, check out my podcast, The Occult Unveiled, where I interview witches and magicians from around the world in their own unique path in hopes that you may find your own spiritual guidance.